Hey, what is happening, everybody? You are back at the Real PG for a special MLB slate today with no NBA games. Prepare as we have been on an absolute heater since opening day. It has been nothing but good. Get yourselves excited. Bumps are already happening. So this video is going to be coming with a little less research than I'd like to have time for. But in baseball, beating the bumps is key. So I got four plays that we're going to look into. Let's get right into it. Just want to quickly discuss the three links in the description section below. First one is to the free Discord. Come on in, check it out, guys. Tons of sharp people in here. We got the main chat, and then we have a couple special lock chair areas for the top tier Patreon play, uh, plays and players. So... They will be getting more lineups and stuff, but the main chat is definitely being dropped love. Um, if you're curious about how we've been doing in here, stuff like that, check out the Discord trophy shelf. This is just some of my stuff from yesterday. Um, like I said, I've been absolutely crushing baseball. Um, I did last year. I will again this year. This is the time to get involved. Come on in. Check this out, guys. want to get this quickly so we can get everything in before anything else bumps next is going to be to the patreon second link so we got two tiers an all access vip tier and a base tier the base tier comes with some plays a write up and a card or two of the plays that i do like the most the all access vip you have access to me around the clock i am in the discord 16 to 18 hours a day monday through friday i drop plays every day of the week we will be doing the NBA until the end of the playoffs, but there will be some MLB drops on occasion between now and then. Then we will be reverting over to full-time MLB. So if you're interested in getting into the Patreon for MLB, about a month from now would be the time to sign up. Otherwise, if you do want to get in for the playoffs, which is another huge time for betting, get yourselves in right away. Uh, there is a possibility that prices do go up during the MLB season as the profits will be also much, much higher during the MLB season. So nothing for sure on that yet, but it is a possibility. If you're curious about how the Patreon's been doing, check out the testimonial section. This is where we drop people drop their tales of plays that they made off of uh, stuff that I left for them. Uh, some words of advice, words of wisdom on the Patreon, what they think is going good, going bad, what I'm doing well, what I'm not doing well, um, a lot more positive. I don't think there's much of anything negative in here. Um, as, like I said, we have been doing very, very well, all things considered in the NBA and just crushing the MLB. So, uh, Quickly, last link is going to be over to Thrive Fantasy. This is a big one, guys. If you come over to Thrive Fantasy and you sign up with my promo code, capital letters PG, make a $25 minimum deposit. Immediately upon deposit, they will match your deposit of $25. They do match up 100% up to $100. So you can deposit as much as you'd like. Up to $100 will be matched. But you only need to do 25 for the promotion. Once you've used my promo code, capital letters PG, made a $25 deposit, your account will have $50 in it. At that point, you need to just make a bet of $1 or more and then come back into the Discord. Come here, direct message me, letting me know that you've taken care of the three requirements using my promo, depositing $25 or more, and making a bet of $1 or more. At that point, I will have it verified by Thrive that you indeed did do all three of those things. And at that point, I am willing to either send you $10 back out of my pocket so that you will be paying $15 in essence for $50 in site credit over at Thrive just for coming over and using my promo code and taking five minutes out of your day as a thank you. If you would prefer, I will give you one free week of Patreon instead of the $10 back. It is totally up to you. If you would like to try it before you buy it for the Patreon, certainly can have that. Just let me know which you would like when you are giving me the details that you did take care of the requirements all i need from you is the email that you use to set up the account and whether you'd like the ten dollar refund or you'd like the free patreon and as soon as it is approved by thrive i will get you whichever one of those two you would like let's jump into the plays guys got four for you today 
So we're going to look into the MLB category, direct MLB, no MLB live today. And we're going to be looking at pitcher strikeouts specifically. If I can get this thing to go to the pitcher strikeouts. Anyways, so we've seen a bump on one of my favorite plays today. Carlos Carrasco at four and a half, bumped to five. I'm going to leave this alone. I think it's probably still fine at five, but I'm going to leave it alone. So next play is they basically went the dead. I woke up at like five o'clock. They had a few names up. I woke up at seven o'clock. They had the first wave of pitchers. I made a few lineups. And then as soon as they had time to see where the money was going and they bumped some players, most players, then they dropped the second wave of players so that you can't combine all the great plays at once. Prize picks is shady like that. So what we're working with is some bumped lines and some lines that came in fresh. So we're going to try to jump on those fresh lines. First line we're going to be looking at, Charlie Morton over five and a half strikeouts versus St. Louis today. I like Charlie Morton to the over. There's not much background or information that goes into these plays. At this point, this early in the season, it's using the knowledge of last season. It's using what your expectations are of the St. Louis batters, of Charlie Morton, and what he is capable of. So, again, a lot of this is more, not a guess, but more of a coin flip than it normally would be. We don't have data or samples to go off of for any of these pitchers yet if they've yet to even pitch one game. So you're just going to have to ride with these if you want to do so. Otherwise, you feel free to leave them be and take the day off either which way. First play, though, Charlie Morton over 5.5 strikeouts. Next, we're going to be looking at <sighs> Tyler Molly. 4.5 strikeouts against Miami today. I'm going to be taking that over as well. Third play we're going to be looking at, not Johnny Guido. Third play we're going to be looking at, Trevor Williams. Where is he at? At three and a half strikeouts. There he is against Tampa Bay Rays. I like his over. That is the third play we're going to roll with today. And then finally, we do have an under. And it is going to be the Descalfini at three and a half. Where is he at? Man, a ton of these lines have already been bumped. I got so much value earlier on so many of these lines. The only one that did bump against what I took was Nestor. He bumped down to six. I did like his over six and a half as a first look. But against Philly, that's a really tough team. But they do have a lot of guys that love to hack away. So I do think Nestor has the upside to get there. But played him once as a first look. It's not going to hurt. If he misses, but again, last but not least, Descalfini, three and a half to the under. And that is going to be the four final plays that we are going to have today on prize picks. There is nothing on Thrive currently as it is too early. They don't drop lines till about right now. So we're not going to do the waiting game. We're going to get these in before anything else bumps, guys. Lock this one in. And that's what I've got for you today. Again, don't hold anything against me at this point. There's been no, we've not seen any of these guys in action yet. So all we're doing, again, is basing it off of what we have seen in the past and what we know off of last year. So far, I've ran four days hot, hot, hot. So I'm hoping to keep that streak alive, hoping to do the same for you. If you're tailing, I wish you the best of luck. Please gamble within your means, guys. Keep your bets low. This is just time to gain information. It's also time where Vegas is gaining information. And remember, they can do a lot more with the information than we could dream of. So yes, it helps us to get a sample size and to see these guys play, but it helps Las Vegas create better numbers a lot more than it helps us. So we need to be quick to the jump, uh, but you do also need to keep your your downside limited, you know, and there's no reason to be betting more than five, ten dollars on any any given card at this point because just about anything can happen. Uh, for example, yesterday Tyler Anderson, after 92 pitches, could not get over four and a half strikeouts. Went three complete without one strikeout. Very tough hook. Joey went same thing. Very tough hook. Should have went flying over his three and a half. 
hit three. And those were the two losses we took yesterday out of about 12 props. So today we're going to hope to go 100%. Very difficult to do with no backing, but we're going for it today for the gusto. Till the next one, guys. Best of luck and peace.